previously on Sunset Tan. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! I am not gonna you know, right him. Decided to make uh, Roxanne the regional. Yeah. yeah! I always like to get you to Vegas, man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to Vegas. He's going to Vegas to meet with George Maloof. What? Just. It's bull it feels really good to be back home. It's cold here. Leave some of your clothes at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> so how's LA? Do you like it? No. Why well, do you live there? Seriously, like we break up and then two months later you're engaged to somebody. I feel nauseous. Honestly, Kiwi, I am through, done with him. That was closure. Hi, welcome hey. to Sunset Tan. Hi. I've got like an audition tomorrow. Are you supposed and to be tan for it? A little bit more. Just a little glow or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Put him in a mist stick. Does it work? It's like this. Brown stuff that goes it's a all, all over you. You can do like just like one shade, <laughs> one shade darker. Yeah. yeah. And then I'd be just a little bronze sort of more. Yeah, you'll look good. You'll look good. You can walk around with your shirt off. Okay. Do you want we'll just put you in okay. a level one, maybe a level three. <laughs> okay. Show you how to do it. Okay. He asked to be tan, and he was pale, like white now. So white pale. We tanned him. Uh, wow, you look tan. I look like a carrot. <laughs> Ready to go? Yeah, how was it today? Good, we were busy. I recently went home to Oklahoma and it was nice to be home, but I'm liking LA more and more every day. I'm still keeping my options open, but I'm starting to kind of actually enjoy myself. Hey, Aaron, how hey. you doing? Hey. Give me a minute? Yeah. Okay. Uh, What's up? What I heard was that you're just not really sure about being out here in LA, and is that any of the problem too? No, or? Um, no. I mean, I miss my family a lot, but I love my job, I do. I mean, I don't want you to feel like I'm not yeah. good for this position, because I am. Yeah. You know, whatever you want, I'll do it. If you're committed and you want to stay with Sunset Tan, yeah. if you want to stay in L.A., yeah. I'll put you through the management you know, program. You know, we also have a few more salons opening, you know, the following year. If you okay. want to make uh, Sunset Tan your career. You want to open one in Oklahoma? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. So that means you're going back? Joking. No, I'm joking. It was a joke, no. Thanks for checking on me. I appreciate that. It. I really Thanks do. You. L.A. has so much more opportunity than Oklahoma. It's amazing. The thought of Oklahoma is still in my head, but, you know, I'm really starting to like it here. Good. I need to just get a tan. You're Chelsea Handler. Yes. Right? Watch your show. It's very funny. Oh, thank you very much. I drank heavily, so that helps me be funnier. I just want to get a, like a little tiny little tan, nothing crazy, nothing smelly. I would do the sunset cocktail, which is what we're most famous for. Um, it's where you go into the bed first, you go immediately into the spray tan. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I just want to get a regular tan, but I'll take the cocktail. Is it blended? Do you mean blended? We don't actually serve alcohol at sunset tan. Yeah, you know what, that's the problem with these kinds of places, is that you don't have alcohol. And then you say things like cocktail, and you get me excited, and you know that I obviously have a drinking problem. They totally misrepresent themselves when they say they have a sunset cocktail, because obviously that means to me one thing, and it means to tanning people a whole other thing. So I don't like that kind of confusion. Luckily, we got past it. Um, water misters right here, you can press it in a couple minutes. The AC for the bed and for the face, you can turn it up or down. So set on high this is like a Star Trek machine. Just press this button when you're ready. Do I keep my underwear on? No, you don't have to. I just have an E and an exclamation point on my bikini. Enjoy. I will. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm getting undressed now. Sure. Okay, this is serious. <laughs> and I actually fell asleep for about 35, 40 seconds, which I like to usually call a blackout. Now that Roxanne is district manager, she hardly ever checks up on us. And the fact that she doesn't get things done, it embarrasses me because that reflects poorly on me as a manager. Hey, what's up? You look happy? No, I'm just, I'm just really frustrated, Rox. What else is new, Keely? I guess I just feel neglected, you know, oh, in Keely. a lot of ways. It's not a relationship that we have, it's a business. It thing. is a business relationship, but neglected business-wise. I feel like the store's been neglected. I just It has been neglected, well, and you wanted to take the reins and pull and it through, and you I said can. you could do it, but you can, but... I can't do it, I just mean... But you bitch about it every day. No. Every day. But I don't bitch about it you every day. You do bitch about it. Keely's a little high strung. She tends to focus on, I need this, I need this, I'm not getting this, I'm not getting this, instead of actually doing it, I think. But whatever, she just... 
she, yeah. It's such a bad communication climate here. I just, I want it to be more open. I want us to be able to work well, together. Well, you know what? I want a Mercedes and a million dollars. Roxanne's only been in my store two times in the month and a half that I've been manager. I just question her ability to do her job and to be in the store and to come meet with me and help me get the store back in order. You know, if she doesn't start helping me, then I'm gonna have to go to Jeff and Devin directly. Hi, welcome to Sunset Tan. Hi. You look familiar. You were here the other day? Exactly, yeah. We have this one client who comes in every <laughs> time we're working. What's your name again? I'll remember the next time, I promise. Uh, it's Derek. Derek. And he knows when we're working, and he only comes in then. To he see us. has a crush on us. I have to say, you guys look really awesome today. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. you. I do like them. I, I, I like them a lot. I think I like I like Holly a little more than Molly. It's really just hard to decipher what you know what's going on in their mind. What's your name again? Uh, Derek. Derek. I'm sorry. Big D. Uh, Chris. No, Derek. Okay, Dan. Um, you're. Derek. Sorry. He's here here before us. Hi. We catch him waiting. Trust me, I, I don't plan to, like, you know, go stalk her. Hey, guys. I just wanted to get to know them better, you know? He loves us. Who doesn't? <laughs> True. Sweet. So we're down for, uh, what do you call it, Wednesday, right? Wednesday? For, for next tanning session? Sure. Oh, OK. OK, cool. Good to know. OK. All right. I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Cheers to Vegas. Jeff and Devin haven't made their decision yet as to who they want to manage in Vegas. Everyone's gunning for the position because it's going to be huge. It's going to be a very busy store, so they're going to make a lot of money. So what's up with the, um, who's going to get the store? What, how does that go? I originally was the only person that really wanted it. Yeah. You know, and everyone wants it now, so. There seems to be a little animosity. <laughs> well, it's just like, I think that people are, you know, starting to just want it just for the sake of competing or the sake of wanting it. I don't know. I want the Vegas spot 110%. And I know I'm the only one that can carry that store. I originally was the only person that really wanted it. Yeah. You know, and then about, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, everyone's, you know, and their cousin wants it now. I've been with the company the longest. I'm consistently number one um, in sales. I know that I'm the right person for the job. You're going to want it tomorrow. Um, Not I. I'll think. <laughs> How are we all doing? Ready to do, uh, do some good things, guys? You know, Roxanne's been great about getting things relayed from you guys to us. Just the last couple weeks, we've been watching her. What are the concerns you guys have as a whole, as far as managers running each of your salons? Just a big thing is just make sure you come to me and don't bother Devin and Jeff with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I have a quick question. Um, so in regards to contacting you first instead of them, because I know you guys are right. busy as it is running this, or being heads of the company. This is exactly what I mean. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, this is no, why I want to get it out now. <laughs> well, if we go to you first, will things get done? Are they going to be put off for a month? It's not going to happen like that, because yeah. I have a bunch of other things, right. but I always get back to you on emails. And I would just prefer you guys call me. The thing is, I don't have right. enough time in the day enough hours in the day to do everything that I need to She's do. I'm already months. working 100 Wait. hours a day. Right, then that's just something that you have to learn, because everybody else does that. The problem is, every single day I have issues. It's almost like maybe every they're your issues. I know you want things to happen tomorrow, but they're not all going to happen tomorrow, Keely. You've got to calm down a little bit. I think with Roxanne's new position, she has been kind of bitchy. That's kind of a wrath you don't want to deal with because she gets really defensive and snappy. Roxanne's been in a new position for about a month. Uh, there are still a few kinks to work out. I don't know if she can handle it. So I'm a little concerned about that. Really, one of the most important things we're going to expect from Roxanne is communicating so, cell phone, texts, emails, all yeah. that, so that you're available to all the managers as well as us. So what are we going to do for you today? Well, I think I'm going to go as dark as I can, bronze as I can, but no, um, oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna go, you know. Can we airbrush you? That's too expensive. I can't afford it. But we've well, sprayed. We have the machine. We have the machine that actually sprays you. Well, how much? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> in LA, the craziest people come into tan, you know? Well, what would you do every single night? I go out alone. You know what? I didn't you know what? I have so much frustration that I don't even want to play my bass guitar. I went through such crazy insanity from a record producer in the Hollywood Hills who kidnapped my cat. My mom had to pay $5,000. It's ridiculous. Okay. Really? When I first moved here, I could not believe the people that would walk in the door. Do I have to worry about all this mess? Just take it with you. Ooh. Okay, so which, which room? Um, what room is she in? Bed <laughs> number four. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
She's a sweetheart, you know? Oh, she yeah. means well, but she's just, I think, a uh, few tacos short of a combo. Only Sunset Tan, only LA. Let's just film up. <laughs> fun. I love being in this bed. This babe, perfect. I'm gonna drink the whole bottle. Oh, yeah. Don't we have more? We have a couple more, I think. Home? Cheers, Mama. I love you. I love you too. Roxanne and I tend to dish the dirt on all the employees um, pretty much every day after a long day at work. I had to deal with Keely this morning. She said, yeah. I just wanted to talk, and I'm like, I'm a busy girl. I had to get up and be here by 8 o'clock in the morning so you could talk to me and have a conversation. I'm like, don't ever do that again. She always does that. We need to sit down and talk. We need to talk. Oh, I told her, I'm like, listen, I've been with this company for over three years. I've dealt with every single thing that you have to deal with. I don't complain. She needs to chill. I do my job. Chill out, yeah. Keely just wants the store to be turned around yesterday. It's not going to be turned around as of yesterday. And she needs to back off. She's, she's, you know, questioning my ability and my performance. And she's not going to have a job if she doesn't be careful. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Um, things are starting to click. I'm starting to understand the business, which is the reason I'm here in LA. We have package deals. You look like you tanned really well, too. Our beds are high-end bronzing beds, really powerful. We have a 10-pack all the way to a 100-pack. Obviously, it's going to be cheaper the more you buy. My sales have, you know, tripled. I feel comfortable with the clients, with selling, with the salon. I really feel like, you know, that's the reason I'm here. And then you guys want to tan today, right? Definitely. Yeah. Let me show you guys the room. Oh, all right, hi. Great. <laughs> Easy sale. Welcome, first and foremost. Good to see you guys. We got to go over numbers, guys. Santa Monica. OK, we'll go to Santa Monica. Janelle did a pretty good job there. I mean, actually, the second highest in the company. Erin, who, you know, for several months when she got here in West LA, was just not cutting it. Obviously, her sales now are amazing. She Great. went to 20,700, 20, beat Janelle. You know, I think I am a good contender for Vegas because I think I've showed a lot in the, the short time I've been here that I work hard and I have good work ethic and dedication and, and now my sales have, have shown, so. Thank you. So now she'll probably watch her back. What's up with the Vegas thing? Like, it sounds kind of fun. What do you mean? Who, who all are they going to bring over there? Why, are you interested in it? Well, I don't know, I mean. I think it could be fun, something new. You want to go to Vegas? Is that bad? I mean, you could go and be my assistant. That's what I'm saying. Or be a manager. I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just don't see you in Vegas at all. I see you as an Oklahoma girl still. Being as new as she is to LA, there's no way she's going to be able to come to Vegas and, and, and handle such a huge responsibility like this. That's just ridiculous. actually expressed an interest in um, managing Vegas. She's interested in management or she's interested in managing Vegas? Well, no, she said Vegas. <laughs> I said, well, you can come and be my assistant. I don't, she, she's not ready. She's not ready for Vegas. No. Like, when she first came here, she was like a little kid lost in the woods. You know, she's <laughs> throwing Aaron into a Vegas mix might be, you know, enough to just make her, you know, Midwestern heart snap and head back to the farm. It puzzles me that she's even interested in doing this because, I mean, can she train a staff? Can she hire a staff? Can she interview people? Well, you seem pretty worried, you know? No, I'm not worried about it. I'm just I'm just making a point that I just No, I, I, I agree. But, you know, the best person is going to get the place, so, I mean, that's, that's just the way it's going to be. Well, it's obvious that the best person and the more experienced person for the place is me. Now, you know rehab at the pool is not like rehab from party. It's like, you know... Oh, that's really quick. You know what? I will call you back. I'll be quick. Okay, bye. Hello, it's Roxanne. Please leave a message and I will call you back. Thanks. Hey, Rox. Paris Hilton just called and she needs a custom spray tan within the next hour. I'm stuck at the store right now. Please call me back as soon as possible. Erin, oh, thank God I got in touch with you. Oh, Erin, no. Nick, please. Hey, Rock, I have been calling everybody. Nobody can go custom Paris today. I've got to get somebody over there. I don't know what to do. Roxanne told me to call her instead of bothering Jeff and Devin. I've done everything possible to get Paris custom tans within the next hour. I don't know what else to do. Jeff Boz is Keely. Total unacceptable, dude. I found out from Keely that this was trying to happen. Paris calls 9.30 in the morning, needs to get airbrushed immediately. Unfortunately, Nobody could do it, and there was no communication at all with Jeff and I. Roxanne should have called me. I would have run down to the salon, 
locked it up. Right. She lives two blocks away, yeah. dude, and we would have handled it. So, you know, of course, Jeff was all upset. All rocks and said, look, we need to meet. You know, this is your responsibility to make sure. Now, we can understand if maybe somebody couldn't get down here, but why didn't we know? We're talking about you, girl. What happened today? Now, I didn't call you because I, because I, yeah, but we could have brainstormed. So we could, you yeah. need right. to call me because I need to know what's going on. Maybe I could have said, Roxanne, I'll run down. I'll, it's OK to close Hollywood. You could have called Hollywood and seen who was working there. Nick was they, off today. All right, but then maybe I could have gone up and sprayed her. Right. It just, to me, sounds really pathetic and incompetent of our company that out of all our employees, one person couldn't go today and airbrush. And that's all. And you have to look at it from our standpoint. The bottom line is, this is one of our celebrity clients. It's I mean, like, oh, well, if it doesn't happen, big deal. Obviously, whether it's Paris or somebody else, cannot expect somebody to be there in a half an hour. Yeah, they can. We're Sunset Tan. Of course they can. She lives two blocks away. Don't pull that with me. You're running our company, okay? So we have to figure out what's going on. I'm just disappointed that maybe you didn't, you weren't proactive enough and maybe figured it out on your own and said, what can we possibly do, desperation here, to get someone up there and spray her? Bottom line is Paris didn't get airbrushed. It makes our company look very incompetent, and I have absolutely no patience for that. Dad? They're opening a salon in Vegas, actually. Las Vegas. Yes, Las Vegas. You know, now that I'm considering Vegas, it's really, really important to me that my dad is supportive of that decision. I guess the main thing to consider would be if they're offering you a management position, you know, and I think it's go ahead and take the next step and just see what Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, is Las Vegas closer to Tulsa? <laughs> uh, Vegas is closer to Oklahoma. <laughs> But you know me, we're looking for your homecoming. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I want you to come home. I know, Dad, I know. Thank you so, I much. Love you so much. I love you too. Okay. Bye. 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 How you doing, man? Cool. Good, good. Hey, good. 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 How are you? Thank you. Devin and I are not happy with Roxanne's performance right now, so we got to fix the problem. Let's first start off by saying, you know, you're doing a good job, you know, when you first started, but we think that things have slipped a little bit. We know that when you first came in, that it was a big challenge. I mean, there was a lot that was just dumped on you. We came to you because we trusted in you, and we knew you could. And I ask. trust you too. But guess what? You let us down. Well, can I say what I need to Absolutely. say then? I feel like. Yeah, for the last couple weeks, I haven't done what I needed to do. The bottom line is, I'm overwhelmed. I'm stressed out. I'm at my limit. Whether you guys know it or not, I'm busting my ass for this company. You know, I'm trying my hardest, but I can only do so much. We don't know what you're doing because you're not communicating with us. I, I didn't get a call. What'd you do today? Well, I sent you guys 500 emails. Well, we're not, well we're not that was maybe right this now. afternoon. I checked my emails at 2 o'clock. They weren't there. What, are you making up for last time? Yeah, I guess so. For the last two weeks, I, I guess I was smart ass. He's your boss and owner of the company. You gotta give him some respect. I do, but you guys have to give me that's some respect, problem. too. That's another problem. No, that's another problem. You guys see us as equals, and we're not equals. We brought you in. You work for us. Why? Because I'm young? You don't respect me as your boss? You see me as a friend that you can just talk to any way you want? You guys talk to us however And we're allowed to, as your bosses. If you're not within doing your reason, job. Within reason. But guess what? You're not allowed to talk to us in a certain way. You have no fear of the way you talk to me. It shouldn't be like that. I don't I'm have a, a fear in the way I talk to anybody. Well, great, because I'm not gonna put up with it. That's I, fine, I don't have, don't a, I don't have a power trip. Then don't put, I don't have a power trip either. I love the company, I love you guys, but I'm not gonna sit here and be ridiculed and tell me that I can't, that I'm doing something wrong when I came here to help you guys out. If you guys aren't happy, then, then make me go away. You know what, I could really give a right now. Devin and I do not respond well to ultimatums, and Roxanne has no idea how close she is to losing her job. Next on Sunset Tan. I got my blinders on for Vegas. Vegas, Vegas. For Vegas. Managing the Vegas store could be a huge opportunity. Concord LA, it's up to you guys to show us what you can do now. I'm sad we're not in Vegas. We can close shop early, book our flights, and surprise them in Vegas. We'll surprise them. I want you to know that I do as well want it. And for but Vegas, for Vegas. Yeah. I really do want the salon. Janelle should probably watch her back.